Hey guys, it's Sarah with americantrucks.com and today we have a review and install of the Pro Series projector headlights in black fitting your 09 to 18 Ram 1500 without factory projector headlights. These are perfect for the Ram owner who's looking to replace their factory reflector headlights with this projector option and is looking for a design that's similar to the fifth generation Ram. These Pro Series projector headlights project a brighter, more focused beam of light when compared to factory and also feature this updated and black styling. These headlights feature clear polycarbonate lenses with black housings and come with H7 high and low beam bulbs included. They offer daytime running lights as well as sequential turn signals signals and activation lights, and they meet DOT and SAE regulations. So as far as price goes, these come in at around $525, putting the middle of the road price-wise when compared to other options. And for your money, you're getting a projector style headlight with black surrounds that takes some of its styling cues from the fifth generation Ram. I'm giving this install a one out of three wrenches on a difficulty meter. It features a very easy plug and play installation that can be done within one hour. So with that said, let's jump into our install. For this install, you will need a ratchet. We use an electric one, but a standard one will work fine and a 10 millimeter socket. All right, so for the first step in our install, you're gonna pop your hood, and then we're gonna remove the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold on our grill. So I wanted to point out on our truck, there should be two 10 millimeter bolts in each of these spots, but our brackets are broken, so there are no bolts here. But on your truck, you will have to remove a 10 millimeter bolt from each of these locations. Moving on to the other side, let's remove these 10 millimeter bolts. All right, now that the bolts are removed from our grill, we can pull the top part of it off, and then you'll have to pull straight out to release the metal clips along the bottom. Next up, we can now see the two 10 mils that are holding on our headlight. We're gonna remove both of these right now. All right, so now we can grab the headlight and just pull straight forward to release a pin towards the back. So that is the pin that you have to release. And then we're gonna disconnect both of these plugs. Make sure you pull back on the red tab, press down and release. All right, so now that we have our factory headlight removed, we do have to swap over the housing for the turn signal bulb that plugs right into here on our new headlight. So you just twist this and remove, grab the bulb and pull it out. Now we're not reusing this bulb, but as a general practice, I'd never touch a bulb with bare hands so the oils from my fingers don't transfer over. Then we're just gonna plug this in all the way to this housing. Make sure it clicks, because that will be engaged all the way, and if it's loose, the whole headlight itself may not work. Tuck this in. Line up the tabs, and twist it into place. All right, so now to install our new headlight, we're gonna plug in the connector for the turn signal. Make sure the red tab is pressed forward. Then we're gonna plug in the main harness. Same thing, press the red tab forward to lock it in. Now we're gonna line up this tab to this plastic piece back here. And press it into place. Now you can reinstall the factory bolts. Go ahead and line up the mounting point at the bottom and install the hardware. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and tighten it down. All 
All right, so now that we have our factory headlight uninstalled from our truck, we can check it out side by side with our new headlight here. And as you may have picked up, the most noticeable difference is definitely the black styling of our new headlight. In addition, the light bar on the bottom and some of the other style details, you can tell they've taken from the fifth generation Ram, which is a nice upgraded look to the front of your truck. Now, as far as function goes, the biggest difference is this new headlight features a projector style lens, where your factory headlight features the reflector style. Now, this means the projector style gives you a more focused, concentrated beam of light, whereas the factory reflector just sort of spreads the light out. So that's a nice little detail they've added there. But with that said, let's finish up our install. All right, so now we can remove the other side headlight. Now, one thing to note here is our truck had a bit of a hard life and is also missing the bolt down the bottom. So you will still have two 10 millimeter bolts, one up here and then our missing one down the bottom to remove. Grab your 10 mil socket and let's get these out. All right, with both of the bolts removed, grab your headlight and pull forward to release the pin at the back. That's the pin right there. Once that is out, we have the headlight free. Now we're gonna disconnect both connectors, pulling back on the red tab, pressing down, and release. All right, now we can remove our turn signal bulb housing here to reuse it in our new headlight. This is the same process as before. Remove the housing, remove the bulb. We will not be using the bulb, so you can set that aside. Then we're gonna line up this connector and make sure it's fully engaged in the housing. Tuck the wiring in. Line up the tabs and tighten down. All right, now we can reinstall our connectors, starting with the main harness here. Make sure it clicks in place and put the red tab down. And then the same for our turn signal. Now we can line up the tab and press our headlight into place. Line up the bolt holes and reinstall your bolts. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and tighten them down. All right, now we can reinstall our grill. Line up the tabs on the bottom. Press them into place and then press all of the brackets on top of the rad support. All right, now we can install our hardware. Now we will only be installing the two on the passenger side because of the broken brackets, as we mentioned earlier, but you should install all four bolts back in the top of your room. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and tighten them down. All right, so that is gonna do it for the review and install of these headlights. And remember, for all things Ram, keep it at americantrucks.com.